Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you see, now you're talking that good shit, though. Now, now you're talking that good shit. Bernice, now you're talking that good shit. You see? Now, now we're fixing this shit. You see? Now Bernice and, and, and Amy talking that good shit. That's what I'm talking about. You see? You see? That's what I'm <laughs> Bernice. Ah, she's dead. No, she's not dead. She's just laughing. <laughs> Maria, um, all by herself in the party house, and filled with people and ten cars outside. Right, right, like, like, just, just think about that for a second, Bernice. It's like, it's like, what, like ten cars outside, and then, um, uh, Kohlberger is gonna pick the house that he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like set seven to eight cars outside. That's the same house that he's gonna pick and choose to get in. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Crime of passion for sure. They said that in the very beginning, though. Targeted and passionate. Only an ex boyfriend could have done that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She probably fucked his homie, though. That 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 guy with the blue uh, with the blue polo. You know that's Jack the Court's buddy. The guy with the blue polo with the color. Yeah. You see him all with Matt, uh, all with Kaylee and shit. Like after she broke up with Jack Decor, he hanging out at the house and shit. Like he's the man of the house and shit. You know what I mean? Of course. Oh, you gonna you gonna you gonna be having sex with Maddie. You gonna be having treason with Maddie and all the guys. Now you fucking my boys and shit. Oh, you pregnant by my boy too? Oh, bitch. And you taking my dog to Texas? Oh no, get the fuck out of here. Bitch, you're dead. You fucked up coming here. <laughs> you fucked up coming here for one night. Because if I don't get you right now, I won't be able to get you. Because guess what? That's his comfort zone. Where he know he'll be protected. If he does at the Concalves house, he will not be protected. If he goes to Texas to do it, he's not on his comfort zone. He's not protected. In the only place he know because his fraternity will save his bitch ass with the help of the University of Idaho and the corruption of the Moscow PD. It's going to be there. So, of course, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. Then. Because he know for a fact that he had like even the fucking Greek council want to fucking back him up. Yeah, and that's another charge. If they, if, if, if the forensics would have proved, the forensic would have proved that she got the hormones of her being pregnant. That's another charge. That means that it was a baby inside of her, and she got gutted because he he took he ripped the baby off from her. They don't want to talk about that shit, and that shit pissed me off because it's common sense. She was skinny. By the time of her death, she was getting chubby. You could tell her gut, that her pregnant gut through the dress that she had in that conversation with the cops when that, that boy with the blue polo came right behind her too with the straps on his hands and shit. That was the baby daddy right there. Now he acted like a boyfriend baby daddy. Showing up his face with his girlfriend and shit, you know what I'm saying? Because again, if you if you just just fucking partners, if you just sex partners, you you just gonna let that bitch walk outside and you handle it with the cops. I'm staying in here at the house. I'm sure not even supposed to be here anyway. But no, because you part of the fraternity, you part of everything, you 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 fucking you fucking this girl and this and that. She might, she, you already probably know that that's baby mama. You probably know already that's baby mama. And, 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 you know, in, a, in that footage that actually is being used in court, that footage from next door, that footage from next door, I heard, I heard, I heard, I heard. 
I play that same footage over and over and over, fast speed, slow speed, over and over. And I heard when someone that I believe was Kaylee said, I'm not pregnant. Get the fuck out of here. And right after she said, I'm not pregnant. Get the fuck out of here. The stab started. And we heard that, no, Jack. We heard that. And Taylor have that on her desk. But remember, it's not Aunt Taylor's job to find the killers. Her job is making sure she get her client off from this shit. She's not here to find the real killers. She's not here for that. Even though she know, right, let's say by now she know who did it. That's not her job. By now, they could know by now who the fuck did it. They won't give a fuck. They be like, yo, I'm getting my man out of here. All right, see ya. Y'all do your job. Yeah, yeah. She looked at she looked a little bit pregnant though. She did her arms. You know, the you know, girls, the first thing that you know when they pregnant is their arms get chubby. The arms right here, they get chubby. Believe me, I have kids. I, I have cup. I have different baby mamas. And they all, as soon as I seen that the, their arms getting chubbier, I already knew right away they were pregnant before they even knew they were pregnant. Who the fuck are you talking to? Uh just I can't get past JD and JS. Oh, tell me about it. I know. David and David Lutch. Yeah. Tell me, honey. He's crazy. She did look pregnant in all honesty. Yeah, she did though. She did. She did. And especially if, if when she said I told Adam everything. Kaylee, what you told Adam? I told Adam everything. Oh, you know they're gonna get you for that, right? Yep, Jack D, Adam, Jack, it's like, yeah, they, they all like this. Frats are like gangs, they won't tell. Yeah, of course, because they, they, they own secrecy to each other, especially the guy that they give uh, um, Jack Decor, his alibi, he's one of his uh, fraternity, fraternity buddies. That shit get dismantled in court, that shit don't fly in court. On the Idaho Code of Alibis, that alibi is weak in court. It's not reliable. It's not even taken as a as a as an uh, alibi in court. A simple investigation will break that down to the court. So if they go back and the DNA is Jack the court and all this other shit, oh yeah, they're gonna fry him if they have enough. If they have DNA and they have like all these other details and they end up finding out that they were hiding, that, that Kaylee was pregnant, shit like that, and all this other shit comes to the light. And especially they found out that they were hiding Ethan and Santa in this fucking video that he was in front of everyone's faces. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be a lot of a lot of people, a lot of people, um a lot of people's heads are gonna roll. I was talking about Bethany on the come. No, I know you good. You good, Bernice. You good, honey. You know sometimes I just gotta like get it out my chest. Cause if I don't get it out my chest, I I fucking die. When you don't have a victim infest steak, man. And then she was home. Yes, I know. Um, then she wasn't home that night. But you see, the crazy thing is that they declare, they declare on the PCA that the Bethany found the Bethany was the one that found the victim. Not nobody else. You know what I'm saying? They declare Bethany of the person they found the victims. Not no other person. Not no this guy that people was talking about. Hunter or some shit like that. The Hunter allegedly make the phone call from Dylan Mortensen's phone. Where that shit is from? Ain't nobody know nothing about the 911 call. Who did it and all that shit. They said that it came out of Dylan's phone. We don't even know that. 
we don't even know that the 